right, so back in like 2018, I bought this set, which is a Kato Shinkansen full set bullet train. 16 cars in all. Always thought it looks pretty good. Added lights about eh, two years ago, um, which also look nice. They de flicker if you use it longer and uh, go a little faster here, but they're kind of loud for a video, so I slowed it down for this. Um, but back when I was debating about getting this guy, I was looking between this one and another set. Um, because I thought having a bullet train would be really cool. This one, even though I like it, uh, I have found that the color scheme's a bit too, like, dark and gray for me. So don't get me wrong, I still like it, it's still great, and I run it around, you know, when I'm cleaning, because it's super loud when you're running it at full speed. But... <laughs> Lo and behold, I ended up getting the other set that I was debating way back originally when I was looking at um, getting it. Now, I think this is like a re-release, so it's like slightly newer. It's the newer model of whatever this was before. Different front end, different color scheme. It's all white, which I think just makes it look a cleaner, slicker kind of look. So today I'm gonna do a little unboxing video. My first impressions, I have not even taken this out yet. And then I got to like, two months ago. <laughs> I've been out of town a lot and doing other things, so I'm finally sitting down and opening this guy up, uh, which again, I haven't really touched at all uh, ever since it first arrived. So, first things first, let's get it out of the box and take a closer look at what we got here. So, setting that aside, this is another Kato. It's also 16 cars in total. Complete set I got from ordered directly from Japan. I also got the lighting kits. So there's these here. I'll put those in in a different video because this one might be already long enough. Um, so similar to my other bullet train that's making its way around the, the set here. Um, you got to go with the lights. They look so much better uh, with it. So that's what's going to happen at some point. Whenever, again, I sit down and actually do the lights and I'll probably do a video about that. As you can hear, 16 cars is quite loud. <laughs> but I added that other one on the, on the track for comparison's sake, and then once we get this set on there, I'll run them both together for, again, a comparison, but it's gonna be doubly loud because now there'll be 32 cars on the set. But whatever, <laughs> it will be awesome regardless. Uh, let's take a look at this guy first. These sets tend to come with like a starter pack if you're buying a bullet train, which is what I guess this is. Even though I bought it as one purchase, it all kind of came like this. Um, on these Kato ones, they kind of put the sets and how you're supposed to run them on the back. So this particular box is the red ones for your starter pack. And then you got two supplementals um, in there too, it looks like. Yeah, another four which if you look at the casings, there, there would be an eight in total. So you put these and the, the other four in one case and then another case of eight. So that's cool. Um, here they are up front. Get this plastic bit off. Ta -da! I always like the, the pure white look and I don't think I have any other train set that's like pure white like this. I do have some German coach cars that are, whoa, <laughs> the wheels came off. Um, that are white and blue scheme like this, but uh, you know, this is a cleaner look or even a cleaner look than that. I guess these wheels came off in shipping. What's interesting is that this side doesn't have copper, which this side has copper there and there. I wonder if that's a thing or there's a screw up. This is the power car. It weighs a lot more, so that's how you know. The copper on all the other sides. What's nice about these is, if you can tell, um, I don't know if it can go in focus or not, but there's a little number right here that says 10. So I guess you're supposed to run the power car uh, 10. <laughs> it's even on the top. 
Okay. Um, these all have copper. Oh, there's the other copper thing. Look at that. It all came apart. I thought it'd be weird to only have three like that. So, all right, now I gotta fiddle with this to get it. And we definitely need this component because we're gonna add lights later. So you definitely want that working right. Jam that back up in there, I guess like that. And then add the wheels back in, which is always a little tricky. fiddle with it. Alright, a tad tricky, but we did get there. The wheels are on as they should have been out of the gate. <laughs> uh, I noticed too when I was putting these on, the, the seats inside, if you can tell right here, are blue. Like a really cool rich blue. So when I add lights to these, and these are tiny little windows too, when I add the lights, I think it's gonna look really nice because hopefully that blue inside all illuminates and it's gonna look really cool all blue like that. Um, this is the 12 car. They got two numbers on the top here, which I don't know if I like or not. I, I guess that's real to the model, but it kind of looks out of place a bit. Um, just, just eyeing it up here. Again, these are my first impressions, so I'm just kind of talking out of my mouth at what I see. There's a no smoking sign, I think, right there on by that 12. Um, it says JR and a number, probably a road name. Anagraphs flip up. Oh, but that's all they go. That high. Um, the look itself is a bit boxy. I would have liked to see this more rounded, but again, this is probably true to life. <clears throat> and uh, the cars, I mean, this feels a little on the cheap side, but that's how these high-end Kato bullet trains tend to be. They feel like a McDonald's model, but you know it's gonna work good because these wheels are super uh, nice and light. And that's what you want, I guess, in a bullet train, 16 car set. Um, you want it real light and, and high end for the wheels to stay on. So if that one is any indication, this one is going to be just as good, uh, from that regard. Here's the front car. Look at that. So again, this is a little bit different from the other one that's going around in the background. This one has a more swoopy bullet trainy, I don't know, look to it. And that's what kind of drew me to getting this set, I think, and apart from the pure white paint scheme, whoa, um, was that front end. Again, number one car. I think these have lights. They should on the headlights. Um, it also says signature on the back here, which I think is the indicator that this is that re-release for the modern, whatever the recent iteration of this is. I think it's N700 Signature is the, the name. It says it on both sides here. I don't think it says it on the back, which is pretty much a replica of the first. So this is a car 16, as denoted by the double number orange on top, which again, looks kind of funky to me. Like, far away, I feel like that's gonna look like a piece of dust or something on top of the train <laughs> when it's rolling by. So I would have liked to have not seen that myself, but it's nice that they are numbered so you know how they should run in a row. There's a little compartment here. I wonder what that's for. Can I open that up? Look at that. You're in. <laughs> Why would you need this? I bet the book says something about it. Which is right here underneath. You got all these other stickers and road names, which I never typically use. There's the picture. Look, the real one. Okay, so there's the first four cars. First thing you get in the starter set, which why would you buy the others if you don't have this yet? So that's always step number one. Set these aside. Let's look at some of these other ones, which I don't even know if I've opened these yet to take a look. 
here's the first box, which is the starter pack side, I guess, because it only has um, four. <laughs> oh, so three of them say signature. And this one doesn't say anything. This is car 14. That's 15, 13, and three. Which all look pretty much the same, except just three of them have signature. And this one has a slightly different window scheme. Hmm. That's cool. So this is where you would store these guys as well. And then the last book right here. Open it up. More paperwork. And then a full eight additional additional cars here. There are another one, two, three, four that say signature. The rest do not. So looks pretty nice. Again, that's a good, clean, modern, pure white look, unlike anything I have um, to date. So there's more funky stickers or something on the top here. I wonder how many have those. Some red lines on this guy. This thing here. Another bullet train has this too. I noticed this. I, I think this is some kind of power connector. Only two of them have it, and I think the middle cars do. No, that's car nine. Um, I don't know what that is, so if you know what this is supposed to be, I'd be interested in knowing. Because I think three of them have the panographs for electrical pickup. I, I do know what those are for. <laughs> <clears throat> so, cool. There's the full 16 set. Uh, let's get her on the track and see how this sucker runs. All right, well, I guess these go on in reverse order so that you can put it in order. <laughs> um, I tend to run the power car like third, at least on my other bullet train here. Um, I just feel like it works a lot better than putting it in the middle, even though I know it's probably supposed to be in the middle because this is number 10 of 16, so not even the middle. Like that's two back from the middle, which is just weird to me. So I'll probably swap this one out with the third car. Because <laughs> um, I don't know, I just had better better luck with that um but i will start with 16 in the back here so let's slide her on oh, it just kind of dies not a good sign the other one's rolled a little better are these wheels on right no so <laughs> called it this wheel's like poking out um Again, a mess up in transit, so let me fix that. There we go. Easy. Much better. All right, first one on. Let's find number 15. Here it is. Um, the connector's the same front and back, so I'm assuming the signature goes on the back side of the train. Let's see how well they connect. Yes. First one snapped. And yeah, that rolls pretty good. I can already tell. Fresh out of the gate. All right, there's 14. That one doesn't want to go. There it goes. 13. Man, you got to get them like just right. All right, 13, where is number 12? Right here, car set one. Ta-da! 11, here we are. You gotta get it like, just right and level. 
And even then it doesn't want to go. There we go. So that's 11. 10 should be the power car, but I'm going to skip that for now and swap it with three. Which is right here. There we go. Three. So it's 10, nine, eight. See, right in the middle, you have that uh, goofy thing on the top again. I'm sure it has something to do with sharing power. Seven. It's like a big countdown. Till go time. <laughs> Six. Five. Four. Three. That's two. Three is the power. <laughs> All right, so look at that thing slide. That's nice. I'm gonna swap these. Do one. One is struggling too. Do we have another wheel problem? We do. Look, this one also has a wheel out. I wonder if they ship it that way for some reason, because the back one had the same one random one off. Just a matter of sliding that back down. There we go. And now we're cruising. It really takes off. Two. And then power car. Get that on. Of course, this one doesn't want to go. There we go. In the back. Bam. All right, I think that I did that right. Cool. Thundercats are go. Again, no lights yet, but it's coming. Uh, 16 cars is a very long train. <laughs> as you can see. But it's gonna look good in motion, I believe. So we'll do a full pass here as it's waiting. Power up for the first time. And that back car is just a mirror image of the front. Oh goody, here comes the other one. We can do a test. <laughs> Alright, let's power her up. Oh no, I forgot to switch the... <laughs> I forgot to switch the switch. So a bit of a dilemma here that I'm learning really quickly. These wheels are like so tucked up under, um, underneath here. It's very difficult to get these back on the rails if they derail, which it did. And I, it's in this awkward position behind all my stuff. So it, I don't want to like drag it all out and <laughs> try to redo it. Quite difficult, so I'm gonna keep fiddling with this and then we'll finally get going here shortly. So like weirdly enough, um, even though there's a motor car here, like I can move this with like no effort. Um, usually that motor car, the wheels don't spin, so there's a lot of drag and friction, but I don't really feel that at all, which is kind of crazy. All right, I don't know if you could tell what I can did here, but uh, I had to like jam up that rail railer in the middle of the train and then like scooch it all back. And finally, here we are on the front car. 
and away. So hopefully now it works. Problems are gone. Yes, we are cruising. There it goes. Up the hill for the first time and away. Wheels aren't too loud. I think it's a little bit quieter than the other one. Which is good. Here it comes around, back again for more. That's a lot of gap <laughs> in between those cars. <laughs> you can see it's a lot more boxy. So I don't know, I don't, <laughs> I don't like it as much as I thought it would first impressions. Um, probably would look a lot better with lights so we'd like to get those in at some point, for sure. Ooh. Um, but I don't know, out of the gate, I'm not the biggest fan of this look. I thought I would really like it, but the, the back and the front look good. It's the boxy middle that's kind of, eh. So when you look at that, and then you look at this, it's like no comparison. This one just looks better. But I always thought this one was a bit too dark. Paint scheme. I, I wish that gray was a pure white. That would have looked really nice. See how fast you can go. You know, that's pretty smooth and pretty fast. I don't see any of the jitter that I kind of get with the other one when I crank it up. That's pretty nice. Here it is in more of the shadows, the back end. Again, lights will help. Lights always helps. So there you go. Which ones do you think looks better? My old one or my new one? I'm kind of thinking my old one at this point, at this juncture. <laughs> uh, but who knows, this one might grow on me. Especially if I get the lights in there. I think it would look really nice. For now, I'm gonna have to deal with the boxy look until I get those lights in there. And you know, keep it moving. I do like how it's a little bit quieter, just at first notice, than the other one. Um, but yeah, we gotta work on the, the look a little bit, I feel. So that's it. I'll let this guy go off. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for more. <laughs>